reception. All the women sat on one side of the room, all the men on the other. And all Val and her maids dressed up to the nines, dancing around their handbags. And I was like a princess in my wedding dress. Cost me mum a bomb, you know. <laughs> but you only did it once, didn't you? Marriage. It was for life. We were dead happy at first, you know. I mean, we had nothing, like, but... Well, we never expected much out of life then, did we? It wasn't enough for Jimmy, though. So we started going out on the rob, and... I mean, I tried to stop him, you know, but he wouldn't. One time, I took the kids and went to stay at my mum's. Told her what was going on. Do you know what she said to me? She said, he's your husband, Gail. You get yourself home and you sort his house. So I did. It's just the way things were. It's exactly the same now, isn't it? Every time I try to leave him, I can't. Just can't do it. So that's it, eh? One bad decision and that's it for the rest of your life. You're gonna sacrifice yourself for some complete waster and a son who sell his own sister for drugs. Hey, our little Jimmy needs me, Ron. Anyway, what else would I do, eh? Where else would I go? Well, I don't know. Your vowels. Anywhere you could move away, couldn't you? Make a new start. What about France? You liked it there, Jack. Couldn't you see yourself living there? Oh, yeah? In my dreams. But this isn't a film, you know, Ron. It's real life. People like me, they just don't do that. My name's not Shirley Valentine. I couldn't get a single word out of Dixon of Doctrine. Not a dicky bird. I made him a cup of tea and everything. I even gave him one of my Garibaldi's and he still wouldn't cough. Miserable beggar. They're not allowed to discuss a case with just anyone, you know. I don't know why he's standing there on guard. I mean to say, they took the remnants away yesterday, didn't they? He's only guarding him, too. Ah, he looks perished, doesn't he? It's all part of the job, Julia. Yeah? All right. Listen, uh... You haven't seen anything of my lad this morning, have you? No. Why, has the lad gone walkabout? Well, wherever he is, he better not be up to no good. Not with our own Bobby on guard. Don't talk soft, will you? He's done nothing wrong. He's a cork heel, isn't he? He can't help himself. Any news about the body, though? No. Police are playing their cards pretty close to their chest at the moment. Oh, that poor soul buried under ten foot of concrete. Ooh, makes me flesh creep just thinking about it. My Gideon! It's Jack Sullivan! <laughs> well, you reckon Mr. Terry's dad buried under there? <laughs> hey, I know me and the lad might have had our differences, but I don't think he'd go that far. <laughs> All right, Julia. Mm. Mm. Long time no see. Oh, Jack Sullivan, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> uh, Terry's father, I presume. You presume right, mate. How do you do? I'm David Crosby, and uh, this is Mr. Corkhill. Yeah, all right. I think we've met him years back. Are you okay? All right. Yourself? Yeah, not so bad. Listen, uh, I better get off. Things to sort out. Come on, cracks. See you. You don't want to bother with him. He's nothing but trouble. So, you're just here for a visit. Oh, I thought I'd come and give our Terry a bit of support over all this lot, like. <laughs> you know, me and Dee were splitting off. Me and Bev came to Southport and all. <laughs> Bev didn't hesitate when it came to doing the business, did she? She didn't need asking twice. <laughs> yeah, well, she was never exactly backwards in coming forwards, my Beverly. Must admit, though, Jack, at the time she was like a breath of fresh air. Felt like she gave me a new lease of life. Funny, I don't suppose I could believe her in a way, you know, all of a sudden... I had this young, attractive woman come away with me. Yeah, and here you are again, you see. Spending the night in a hotel with yet another woman. Yeah, but it's different with you, innit, Jack? I mean, when I'm with you, I've got nothing to prove. I can just relax, be myself. You're so... What, you're so lovely and comfortable? I know it's early days, Jack, but... It just feels so right to me. Shall I get another pot? Ron, love, you've got to go home sometime, haven't you? I mean, if you hang around any longer, Bev's going to start asking questions, isn't she? Yeah, I know, I know, Jack, but I just can't face her yet. I'm going to get an ear bashing anyway, aren't I? So what difference does it make what time I go? 
Actually, I was thinking about doing a bit of crazy shopping while I'm here. Yeah. I must have a wander around myself. On my own. All right. Not up to facing the gruesome twosome yet, eh? No, can't say I blame you. I just don't fancy going home and listening to any more of Jimmy's lies, that's all. Then don't. Stay with me. What about my son, though? Can't just walk away from him, you know. Not the way he is at the moment, anyway. I'd never forgive myself. I know, I know. Jack, why did you come away with me? Because sometimes... I think there's got to be more in life. And because in a moment of madness, I thought that we might just be able to make a go of it. Can. I know we can. No. Like my mum said, I've got to get myself home and source this house. <laughs> right. I'm going to phone all Lindsay and tell her that I haven't fallen under a bus or something. <laughs> I don't know what's gone into him. Maybe he's going through a midlife crisis, eh? <laughs> Do you mind? I was his midlife crisis. You know, he's been a right misery guts this year. Usually, come November, he's that excited about the Christmas decorations. He's up in that loft, getting his baubles. <laughs> Saving the trouble this year, then, eh? Hello? It's your mum. Hiya, Mum. Where have you been? What are you doing there? Yeah, yeah, sure. I do a bit of Christmas shopping, eh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so, what's the name of the hotel? Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me an hour. Of... No, I won't tell him. Okay, I'll see you later, Mum. Bye bye. So, where's your mum been staying since you bought out on Soft Lad? Sorry, your dad. Southport. She said she just needed a break. Listen, Bev, i better get going. I'll see you later. Sure. Hi, hello. Hiya. Dad, what's going on with you and my mum? She's just been on the phone and asked me to go and meet her. Uh, where is Shell gone to you? I'm sorry, Dad. I can't say. She made me promise not to tell you. Well, just tell her to come home, will you? Will you, will you tell her that I'm sorting things, like she told me to? Something what things? I'm getting Max's car back. I'm just waiting for me chance, you know, waiting till everyone's out of the way, like. What are you doing with Max Farnham's car? I nicked it. Oh. Look, love, I didn't want to. It was the only thing I could do. Our oh, Jimmy's in a load of debt. I had to pay it back. Well, normally people go to banks. How come he's in so much debt then? Got himself mixed up with some drug dealers in France. He owes a load of cash. He's had these heavies after him, love. I had to get the money. They said they'd kill him if he didn't pay it back. So that'll be it then? You you pay his debt off and they leave him alone? <sighs> That's what I thought, yeah, but he's done a runner. Oh, God. While I was asleep, he's pinched the cash and he's done one. Oh, I don't believe this. Be in some dive somewhere. Scoring the biggest hit he's ever had. Listen, love, whatever you do, will you promise me you won't tell your mother what he's done? Because if she finds out, she'll never come back. Here you go, Mick. Yes, sir. Here you go. Ta. Hey, uh, I'm sure I saw your old fellow walk past earlier. Yeah? What's he doing back on the scene? I think he must have heard I've got a few, Bob. He's always been good at spending money, hasn't he? Especially other people's. I mean, why else would he show his face? There's nothing around here to incest him. No, I suppose not. Give him my best, anyway. Yeah, all right. Listen, Tess, how long is all that business with the body going to be holding the work up for? I haven't a clue. They tell me nothing. Well, you should know when they should be finishing. No. All the busies will say to me is they're still making inquiries. Well, it's not good enough, really, is it? If it carries on for much longer, I won't have a business left. Well, as soon as I find anything else, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, we've all just got to get on with it. It's not as easy as that, though, is it? All my customers are going elsewhere. Probably worried about hygiene and that. Hey, I'm a customer, aren't I? It'll take more than a few old bones to put me off, Miss Gran. Oh, I'm sorry, Mick. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just one of them things. See, the police are still at it. Do you want to take a bet on it being Lord Lucan? Uh, my money's on Shergar. I'll see you. Bye. I've, um, just been reading through your proposals on bullying for the governor's meeting later on. 
So what do you think? I mean, I really went for it, like. Yeah, read all the latest reports and statistics, made loads of notes, came up with a few ideas of my own on how to deal with the problem. I see that you're suggesting automatic exclusion for anyone caught offending. Well, I must admit, it's strong stuff. So I can count on your support at today's meeting? Well, actually, no, you can't. I'm sorry, Mick, but I honestly don't believe that exclusion is the solution. It, it wouldn't be solving the problem. It'll just be moving it elsewhere, and then it becomes someone else's problem. Look, I'm not involved with other schools. I am a governor at Brookie Comp. That's where my kid goes. <laughs> but when you were doing your research, didn't you read that the majority of youth crime is, is committed by kids who've been excluded from school? Yeah, well, that just proves my point. They're a bad lot and should be kept out of school. At least then they can't be a negative influence on our kids. But you're just seeing the detail. You're not looking at the whole picture. Well, it seems pretty obvious to me. But we need to know why these kids do what they do and, and help them out of that destructive mode of behaviour. I should have known you'd resort to all that liberal crap again. I suppose you think we should be sending them off to foreign holidays and that. Look, bullies don't need understanding. They need sorting. Well, in that case, I'm afraid that you and I will have to agree to differ. Should be quite a meeting. Hello. Mm -hmm. oh, state, are you stopping in a place like this, eh? Who do you think you are, Lady Muck? Eh, you cheeky devil. I suppose you expected me to be staying in some cheesy B&B, &B, <laughs> did you? No, I just fancied staying somewhere classy for once, you know. Is there something you're not telling me? Like what? Like you've won the lottery or something. Oh. <laughs> it must be dead pricey stopping here. How long are you staying, Mum? I don't know yet, love. Just depends how things go, you know, between your dad and I. Right, do you fancy doing some crimbo shopping then? Uh, look, you didn't get me to come all the way over here just to go shopping now, did you? I know what's going on. How do you mean? Well, my dad told me why you got off last night. About him robbing little Jimmy everything. He had no right to. I am part of the family too, you know. And I'm really worried about you. <laughs> well, there's no need. Honest. Look, tell you what, let's go outside, eh? Have a walk around. OK. Listen, you get your stuff together, and I'd better go and ring Mike. Remind him to collect our Carly, or she'll still be waiting at midnight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have expected you to come here, should I, at the drop of a hat. You've got your own life to lead. Look, don't you be talking soft. It'll only be a minute, right? Oh. Ron! What are you doing here? Do you know what? Sometimes I think I've only got half a brain. Ron, I listen. paid by credit card, didn't I? What happens if Bev sees the Ron. statements? She always checks me bills, you know. She's seen it once in Cosmo. Ron. Ten ways to check if your man's a cheat. Ron, you've got to go now. All Lindsay's here. Mum? What's going on? First of all, I'd like to offer our thanks, Mick, for preparing this document on bullying. I'm sure it's given us all food for thought. I think it'd be a good idea if Mr Johnson had studied the school's existing policy document on bullying. We all invested a lot of time and effort in creating it, but he seems to have ignored it completely. Actually, I read it from cover to cover, and I didn't find one single answer to the problem. Well, a lot of the latest methods of dealing with bullies have achieved some impressive results. Are you referring to mediation? Yes, that's right. The, the bullies and their victims are encouraged to get together and talk about what's been going on. Look, this isn't the Ricky Lake show, you know. No. It's about making bullies face up to what they've actually done, the hurt and damage they've caused to other people. Look, you can talk to some kids until you're blue in the face. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference. We need to take a tough line on this. We've got to show the bullies that we won't take any messing. So that's your Rambo style of school governorship, is it? Not exactly subtle. A kid like yours would know the meaning of the word. As I've said before, unless we have real evidence... And as I've said before, and I'll say it again, it's this fella who's the bully, not my Timothy. I reckon you're looking for a scapegoat. You are victimising my son. Well, I honestly don't think that's the case. My own son has said that Timothy can cause problems at times. You'll be blaming the parents next. <laughs> it's not a case of anyone being to blame. Listen, we come here to try and change things. And all we're not doing is going round and round in circles. We all know who's causing the problem, and we've got a duty to the other kids to sort it. I've had enough of this. 
If you'd asked me, this is all just a smokescreen. If you want to know who the real offenders are, I suggest you look closer to home. I don't think it helps solve anything if we start making personal remarks. Are you trying to say that my Leo's a bully? Put it this way. You're not the only one who's read up about all this. How come you conveniently fail to mention that all the pupils excluded this year were black? Except for one. You what? And why is this? It's just one of those things, I'm afraid. Come on, there's something going on here, isn't it? Well, I want all the facts and figures on this. Are you trying to tell me that all the troublemakers in this school are black? You know, Susanna, that really is a beautiful car. Oh, thank you. I think whoever coined the phrase, crime doesn't pay, should have had a word with you first. I'm sure you could have convinced them otherwise. Look, David, I'm getting very tired of your childish accusations. If I were taking money from the restaurant, I'm sure you would have proved it by now. Goodness knows you spent enough time searching through the accounts. I bet you know every single figure off by heart. Oh, how do you get on at the solicitors? Badly. Patricia has issued me with an ultimatum. I've got two weeks to give her her share of the house and grants. She wants 50% of everything. I don't believe it. Two weeks? That's totally unreasonable. I mean, you have to refuse. Need more time to sort the figures. How can I delay? If I don't pay up, she'll take me to court. If you're sensible, it even come to that. Why throw more money after lawyers? Well, at least they give you a fair hearing. Well, that's debatable, especially if she plays her sympathy card. Single parent with two children, one with special needs. Max, you make it sound as if Patricia's doing this for her own amusement. They are your children, and you have a responsibility to look after them financially. Look, I can assure you I won't shirk from my responsibility, but the simple fact remains I can't afford to pay the amount that Patricia's asking for. No, of course you can't. She's probably just trying it on, seeing what she can get away with. Please don't judge everyone by your standards. Warren says I have two options. I could raise the money by selling grants. That way, at least, we'll have a roof over our heads. Or we sell the house and move into rented accommodation. That leaves having grants as our source of income. Talk about Hobson's choice. If you do decide to sell the restaurant, I suggest you do it pretty quickly. Otherwise, you might find you have nothing left to sell. Susanna will have bled you dry. Don't you think it was dead weird just bumping into Mike Stad like that? Yeah, what a coincidence, eh? <laughs> I hope he didn't think we'd been funny just getting off so quick. Probably didn't even notice. <laughs> anyway, you and me have got lots to talk about, haven't we? Yeah. Like, when are you coming home, Mum? I don't know. Now I've been in and out of that house as if I'm on a bit of elastic or something, but... See, I feel it's my duty to stay, love, but... Another part of me says something's got to change, you know. I know my dad can be hard work at times, but... He wouldn't really walk out on him, would you, Mum? He really needs you, and... Just think of the way he's changed over the last few months. Lindsay, love, how many times have I heard that? But he really means it this time, I know he does. And just think of the efforts he's made, Mum, getting a job. And even... Well, even giving that talk down at the drop-in centre. It must have been so hard for him, but he still did it. He only did it for you, you know. Like you look, Maxie. Car fairies paid you a visit. What? It's my car. Come back. Well, well, well. That is a surprise. I was almost convinced that Susanna had part exchanged of her new car. How come we didn't hear it being driven back? I don't understand.
Hey, like something out of the X-Files, isn't it? I think it was abducted by aliens. This is ridiculous. The car's even been cleaned. Someone's actually left an air freshener in it. <laughs> I'll get going, Mum. Let you have a talk. No, I want you to stay. Did you notice I took Max's car back? Yeah, they did. Yeah. I cleaned it out and everything. No one sussed I had anything to do with it, so no probs there. All right, there you go. Three for two. Yeah, it's great to see you, love. I've really missed you. Didn't think you'd be coming back. The house is dead lonely when you're not here. Jimmy, I'm only here because you're not capable of keeping yourself out of trouble without an ace, mate. Because I've got a son who's killing himself on smack. And he needs his family to stay together to get him through it. Do you understand? Yeah. Nice. Where is he, then? I've got some bad news there, love. What? He's took off. Meaning what, Jimmy? Meaning he's done a runner, hasn't he? And, um, he's taken the money with him. What? You mean you've let him get his hands on all that money? Of course I didn't. He took it when I was asleep. How was I to know? Oh, you didn't think of hiding it? Yes, I did hide it. I stuffed it under the pillar. There was no way he could have known about it. He must have just guessed. So you mean he's out there with £2,000 of someone else's money in his pockets? You knew about this, didn't you? Well, why didn't you tell me? I was scared you wouldn't come home, Mum. Sorry. We need you here. We're not going to be able to get through this without you, Mum. So, um, when are these blokes expecting to be paid? Oh, I don't know. Um, he should have paid it last week. What do you think they'll do if they don't get it? Oh. Can't we talk to someone? I mean, get them to make more time or something? Look, they're not interested in talking. They just want the money and they'll do whatever's necessary to get it. What are we going to do? Right. I said I'll see this through, and I will. But you've got to understand something, Jimmy. I'm doing it because little Jimmy's my son. And I owe it to him to do the best I can for them. After that, I can't promise anything. I really don't know how much of a future we've got together. A selection of Brookside books is available from most bookshops. Live and direct next on 4, the hunt continues in the hide-and-seek game, Wanted. Them. How much have you spent? I don't know what you're on about. Don't you prat around with me! You robbed two grand from under the pillar! I want to know how much you've spent of it on drugs. I don't know nothing about it, honestly. Love, you don't make matters worse. Me and your dad aren't completely stupid. Well, I didn't take any money. So I risked everything to get that cash for you, and what'd you do? Rob me blind! Now, you tell me where that money is, Jimmy, or I'm telling you, you'll be out on your ear for good. All right, all right. I did take the money, yeah? But it was only to pay off them fellas, wasn't it? You know, the debt collectors. I, I, I just didn't want them coming around to the house, that's all. 
So you paid them off then? It's all gone, isn't it, Jimmy? You've blown the lot, haven't you? You must have a death wish. Do you realise that if the police prove this in court and you're found guilty, you could be facing a prison sentence of up to seven years? Seven years? But it won't come to that, will it? I mean, surely if Nat and I don't start blaming each other, we're in the clear. For now, the police will continue investigating, looking for witnesses, for someone who's prepared to say that he or she knows you've committed the crime that you're accused of. Well, Max Farnham's the only one who knows for sure. Are you absolutely positive no one else knows? Because if there's someone you haven't told me about, now's the time to say. No, only Max. I can't see him standing up in court, can you? I mean, he wouldn't testify against us. He was your friend. Was being the operative word. Hey, thanks, yeah. Hi, mate. Yeah, I brought you a piece of cake. I'm gonna go to waste. Oh, lovely. I've had one customer in our place today. So I thought you might fancy a break. Yeah, um, I suppose you've heard the latest, have you? Hmm? Well, that body we found. Hmm. You reckon it's only Barry Grant, don't they? Oh, you're joking, are you? Yeah. I know where it is. Tezza did them in as well. Oh, go away. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, Barry disappears. Teddy turns up with a big pocket. He's got all his businesses. And I reckon me and you have to dust off our suits, because I think we're going to be called as witnesses. Oh, us? Why? Well, we saw the evidence, didn't we? I mean, remember when he took us down to the casino? He had Barry's ID, his membership. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. oh, get <laughs> I can see your face. Come on, I got you. I guess I get you for that. Uh, <laughs> so what are you doing in your sky, but I was. I told him he's not doing, is he? Couldn't give me pizzas away today. Tried writing my best man speech, but gave it up as a bad job. Too much like hard work. Your best man speech? You're keen, aren't you? The stage is away yet. You're joking, aren't you? It's only a month away. Hey, four more weeks of free to make, then that's it for you. God, it is, isn't it? I can't believe it. It's gone that fast. Not getting cold feet, eh? Of course not, no. But. Well, it's, it's a scary business, isn't it, manager? I mean, it's a big commitment, and I'm, I'm just wondering if we might have rushed it a little bit, you know? I mean, in the heat of the moment, I was pushed into choosing between Val and Fee, and... Well, if you're having doubts, then maybe you should slow down a bit. She's not the best to look before, has she? What about her and Jimmy? What about her and Jimmy? God damn. Well, you know, we're... Him and Val do. Do we run together? Well, well, sorry, mate. I, I assumed Val told you. She went with her own brother-in-law. How'd you know? Jimmy told me himself a while ago. And... Little Jimmy never forgave them. That's why he didn't contact the family for years. I thought you knew, Sin. Oh, sorry, mate. I shouldn't have said anything. When was all this? Oh, it was a few years ago. It caused a lot of grief in the family, apparently. And, and no one thought to tell me. I mean, I would have thought Val had let on them. <laughs> not talking Jimmy Corkley. I mean, would she brag about that? Val doing that to her own sister. I mean, I didn't think she was like that. I mean, it, if she's capable of that, who says she wouldn't do it again? All right. What's up with you two? It's like a morgue in here. We well, shouldn't say that she'd have that body being dug up a few doors away. <laughs> Look, uh, I'll get off, Val. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, mate. Yeah, see you, mate. And thanks. He's got a face on her, hasn't he? Oh, look, I can't stay because I'm organising the seating. Eh, uh, well, um, I'm not up to talking about wedding stuff at the moment. Do you mind if we just leave it? Eh? Oh, why? What's up? Val, did you have a fling with Jimmy? What, he told you? It's a troublemaking little get. So it's true, then? I told him to keep his mouth shut. It was Mick he said it to. I don't care who he told. What's the point in dragging up stuff from the past? I thought the Val I knew wouldn't do something like that. Oh, come on, say that. Are you sure you're not going to punish me for something that happened more than 13 years ago? You know, the longer that place lies idle, the more money I'm chucking away. I know, mate. But it's not my fault they dug up that body. Mm. Look, I'll put a couple more men on the job inside the club, so at least that'll be sorted. Ah, uh, all right. Look, if I hear any news, I'll get in touch straight away. All right, I'll see you. 
Uh, what have we got here, then? Sister of the year. You. You've got a bare-faced cheek. Swanning around here, as if you haven't got a care in the world. I don't think you're getting away with anything. Because I'm pushing the police for the prosecution, and I'm going to be helping them every step of the way. They've done nothing wrong. It's disgusting. Do you think I don't know they're all covering up for you? Your parents, that stuck-up Farnham piece from across the road. You're all as thick as thieves, aren't you, you middle-class lot? Deviants, a lot of you. Oh, I bet you had a great laugh at our Julie's expense. Running off, living it up in the Cotswolds together, a week before little brother married my daughter. It was all very cosy, wasn't it? The Farnham's not too fussy about the bedroom arrangements, eh? Just leave us alone, will you? What went on there is no business of yours. Oh, so you admit something did go on, then? How many times do I have to tell you? Nothing went on. Absolutely nothing. We don't have to justify ourselves to you. They know, don't they? The Farnhams know your sordid little secret. All that business about Nat and that Susanna one having an affair, it was all a cover-up job, wasn't it? She said he should tell the truth. And now we know what she meant. They don't know anything about it. Right. I think I'll give that site visit a miss for now, love. You and I should go out and have a nice bit of lunch. See what Mr. Farnham's got to say for himself. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. I can't see him wanting to stick his neck out. Not for the likes of you. Ah, Susanna. Um, where are you going? I'm meeting Vanessa in town. I feel a bit of a spending spree coming on. I need to comfort shop. Susanna, look, I am trying desperately to get the money together to pay Patricia off, and you're spending it like there's no tomorrow. Oh, I'd love to help you, Max, but I'm sure you wouldn't want my help. If you're so certain my money is stolen, I'm sure your principles won't allow you to touch a penny of it. Susanna, we need to discuss this. Please, look, you just wait. Max, come over here quickly. Ah, Susanna isn't as clever as she thinks she is. Uh, no, you haven't found more proof, have you? She isn't going out with Vanessa at all. Look at that. Look at that diary entry for today. Lunch, 1 p.m., Nigel. She's having an affair. No, it's out of the question. She wouldn't. Don't you see? That would explain where she's getting all this cash from. She's found herself a sugar daddy. This is our chance, Max. Have you got the car keys? Uh, Come on. Yes, yes. I'm going to follow her. Uh, I'm going to find out once and for all exactly what she's doing. No, I'll call you on this. David, please. No, I'll see you later. You are not taking my car. Absolutely not. Oh. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself chucking all that money away like that, you stupid... Me dad should never have brought that money in the house, right? He knows what it's like to be an addict. Don't you dare blame your dad. He's done his best for you and he was doing OK, you know, before you breezed back in here. He went on the rock for you. He risked prison for you, Jimmy. And how do you thank him, eh? By going off and chucking it all away on drugs. Is it worth it? Does it make you feel so good, eh, that nothing else matters? Yeah. Yeah, it does, actually, yeah. It makes me feel really good. You did it because it feels good. Don't you care about what you've done to this family? Don't start ramming all that family stuff down my throat, right? You never cared about me when I was a kid, right? You just put up with me because you had to. Hang on, Jimmy. Me and your mother, we've always done our best for you. Was that your best? All that arguing and fighting. I've lost count the number of times my ma's walked out. Every time I come home from school, I didn't know whether you'd be there when I got back. Look, I know me and your dad have had some difficult times. But we try to stay together, son. For you and all, Lindsay. Yeah, well, you should have split up years ago, save us all a load of grief. We had some good times, Jimmy. You must have some memories of those in your dad. Oh, I think they're coming back to me now, yeah? Happy memories. Mm, oh, you with your trousers around your ankles, eh? Doing a business with me, Auntie Val. That was nice for me. You were glad when I went away. Both of yous, right? You were relieved. As soon as I went out that door, you forgot I ever existed, man. Look, Jimmy. So don't start blaming me for all this trouble, right? You want to take a close look at yourselves first. Is it any wonder I take smack? Hey, it's the only thing I've got that makes my life worth living. I think Bad's got enough on her mind at the moment. Other than your dad, always seem to be at each other's throats lately, don't they? We have their ups and downs like most of us. Do you think your dad's been acting a bit, a bit strange lately? Like when he starts banging his head with the tea train and sings mule train. <laughs> I'm being serious. Don't you think he's been acting a bit different? No, I haven't noticed anything. Well, I, I think there's something going on. Something like what? Give us a clue. Oh, you know when I meant to meet my mum in Southport? 
Yeah. Well, my mum and your dad were at the same hotel, but he told Bev he was staying with his mates in Huddersfield. Are you joking, aren't you? I'm sure something's going on. They look dead guilty. And I know they've been spending a lot of time together lately. My dad and your mum having an affair. Oh. Well, it's nice to know me our fella's still got it in him. Is that all you've got to say? Mike, it's terrible. Imagine if this got out. Poor dad would be devastated. Well, I don't think Bev would be too pleased either, Jim. Oh, I hope to God I'm wrong. Because if anything is going on, an awful lot of people are going to get hurt. David, wait. No, no, has he actually got in the car with her? Well, then why aren't you following them? Hmm? Good looking? What, what do you mean when you say good looking? Ha Hello? Look, you're breaking up, David. Yeah. Well, afternoon. We've been meaning to call him for some lunch for some time, haven't we, love? Meaning to clear the air a bit after that silly business between me and your wife. Oh, well, best forgotten, eh? <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Wonderful choice. Well, you expect the best, don't you, when you're paying prices like this? Why don't you sit down for a bit? Take the weight off your feet. Well, as much as I'd love to, I do have rather a lot to do. I'll bet you do. Trouble is, you and me need to have a serious chat. OK. <clears throat> Fire away. I bumped into a friend of yours this morning. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Georgia Simpson. Well, I certainly wouldn't describe her as a friend. I hardly know her. Made me sick to the stomach, it did. Watching her, walking around, not a care in the world. But we all know what she is, don't we? Her and her brother. I honestly don't think this is any of my business. I really don't want to get involved. It's a bit late for that, isn't it, don't you think? You already are involved. You saw them, didn't you? When you were all together down in the Cotswolds. You saw them, brother and sister. Look, will you please keep your voices down? Think of the other diners. We don't want to put them off their food, do we? My daughter's been made a fool of. And I want to make sure that those two get what's coming to them. All right, Ali. Why don't you join us, mate? Have a glass of wine. You'll need it. Um, no thanks. I just wanted a quiet word with Max. I'll bet you did. Max, uh, could we go somewhere more private? There's no point, Ollie. It's too late. Me and Maxie have got it all sorted. Now, I'm going to have a delicious lunch. Then I'm going to ring the police. I'm sure they'll be delighted. You mean I might have to give evidence in court? I'd say it was your moral duty. Just tell the truth, Max, old son. It's all you've got to do. I'm sorry, huh? It's just that I've missed you, that's all. Made up we finally got some time together. Well, this is wrong. We can't take it any further. What? You mean you want us to stop seeing each other? Well, if it was just about you and me, look, maybe I wouldn't want to stop, but... Ron, we've got commitments to other people. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Jack. I can't just forget about what happened and just carry on as normal, not now. Ever since we've come back, I've been racked with guilt. Jackie, we haven't done anything wrong, love. I'm sorry, Ron. Our little Jimmy's come home and he's in a terrible state. I've got to get him back on his feet. I've really let him down in the past, you know, and this is my chance to put things right. For God's sake, Jackie, you can't be at the beck and call of your kids all your life. What about what you want? Don't you tell me that you wouldn't help your kids if they needed it, because I don't believe you. I was there when Mike was in jail, remember? You'd have done anything to help him. Yeah, but that was different, wasn't it? Oh, Michael was innocent. Jackie, I'm sorry, love. No, honestly, I am. I didn't mean it to come out like that. You think because our Jimmy's a sad little druggie that he deserves no help at all? Listen, Mom, I'll tell you something. It's because of me that he's on drugs in the first place. You didn't force him to take them, did you? The way me and Jimmy brought him up, I might as well have done. Jack, please don't say that it's all over, love. Not just now. I, I, I don't think you could stand it. Look, how about if we just see each other occasionally? No, just, in, just until we see what happens like. I'm sorry, love. Your mind's made up. My son's in serious trouble. I just couldn't live with myself if I wasn't there to help him. 
Look, when all this is over, I mean, who knows? You never know, do you? But until then, I, I just couldn't get involved. Yeah, I suppose so. You been busy? So, so, no. Yeah? Yeah, anyway. Oh, hold on a minute, Sinbad. We'll be having like a pair of kids here. We're supposed to be getting married in a couple of weeks. <sighs> oh, and what's that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think it means, Val? What? I mean, you don't want to... Look, I don't know what I want anymore. Sinbad, listen. Me and Jimmy... You went with your own sister's fella. Oh, you think I need reminding of that? You think I don't hate myself for it? I made one mistake a long time ago. I didn't think you were the sort of person to hold that against me. But I must have been wrong, mustn't I? Hey, hang on a minute, Val. I mean, you can't expect me to be over the moon about this, you know. I'm hearing it from someone else. Good luck. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. What else do you want to say? Well, what do you want me to say? Well, that you're not going to hold a grudge? Or is that too much to ask? I suppose not. So it's all forgotten, then? All forgotten. Thank God for that. For one horrible moment, I thought you were going to want to call the wedding off. What would we have told everyone? Think of the shame, eh? What are you up to? Oh, why does everyone always assume I'm up to something? Hey. I didn't mean it like that, Jimmy. I, I just called around to see if you fancy coming the pictures with me, Mike. No, no. Look, I've got a bit of a headache, right? I just want to take it easy. Another time, yeah? All right. Before I forget it, oh, Kylie went and left Blodwin here last night. You haven't seen that, have you? Blodwin? Yeah, it's a favourite doll. She won't go to sleep without it. In fact, I think she was playing with it in your room last night. No, look, I feel really rough, right? I, I thought I'd just get my head down, OK? Jimmy. What's the matter? I've just told you, haven't I? I feel really rough, that's all. Oh, shouldn't you go see a doctor or something? I mean, it could be something to do with the withdrawal symptoms, couldn't it? Look, I feel like crap, right? All I want to do is just get my head down, OK? Just leave me alone, just get off me back, just do one, will you? Can't we just get off? He's not going to thank you for hassling him, Mike, enough. I am not hassling him. He's my brother and I'm worried about him, all right? Jimmy! No, he's gone to sleep, like you said. He's going to have a right face on him when you wake him up, you know. Jimmy, you all right? Do you want them from the chemist? Jimmy? Mike, come here quick. No, I think I can hear him breathing. You must have overdosed quick. Think for an ambulance. Wouldn't we be quicker taking the car? Oh, damn me. Our fella's got it. Where's your mum and dad? Oh, my dad, I think he's gone to work. And my mum, she said she was going for a walk. Right, I'll go and get your dad. Will you be all right? It's not me and what he's about. All right, bye now. Hey, I've been all on my own here. Where the hell have you been? Listen, boss, uh, sorry about that, honestly. Look, I had a bit of a problem to sort out. You know, trouble seems to be following you around today. There's two dodgy-looking types in there before looking for you. What have you done now? Nothing. Keep my nose clean, mate. Yeah, sounds like it. I know what well, I'm telling you, Jimmy. I don't want any more trouble. Mick, look, I am not up to anything dodgy, I promise you. You know, I like working here. You can do anything to cock that up, have I? Jimmy, 
That's your little Jimmy. What's up with him? I think he's taking an overdose. Oh. Um. Well, get in the ambulance with him. Go on. Oh, I should have been with him. I knew how upset he was. I should have stayed with him. But he listened to like with the ball playing stupid games with you. Jackie, will you calm down? This is a punishment, you get know. Get in that the I'll ambulance. Never make it Jackie, get in. No, I'm sorry. Lindsay, will you stay here and let your dad know what happened? Want to go with me, Mum? You stay there, look. Lindsay, just wait here for your dad, please. Hang on. It's my lad you've got there. I'm going with him. It's all right, Mum. No need for you to go. I'm here now. He's gonna die, he's dead. Jimmy. Jimmy, can you hear me, son? Your mum's here, love. Jimmy, you're gonna be all right. Do you hear me? Come on. You're going to be all right. Come on. If anything happens to it, Jimmy. It won't. He's going to get better. I know he is, love. I'm just scared, that's all, you know. If he goes, we've killed him. Both of us. You heard what he said to us, didn't you? It's going to be all right, love. I know he is. He's going to fight hard, Jimmy. Aren't you, son, eh? Come on, lad. <laughs> Listen, Jack, we'll get through this. All of us together. Like it should be. <laughs> And the drama continues in Brookside every night next week. Stay with us for a preview that's coming up. Everything's black and white in Brookside Close. The week of turmoil starts Monday at 8.30 on 4. Call break week in the first of five nightly episodes of Brookside. Make sure there's no hiding places, no nooks and crannies, no way to stash any drugs. Nothing left in here except a bed and four walls. I'm finished with it, Mum. Oh, oh, my stomach. Oh. Where are you going? Oh, give him a break, will you? The lad's not well. Oh, my stomach's killing me, Mum. I've got another bag. Go on. And be quick, will oh. you? So what is all this? Windows boarded up, lock on the door. Gonna be like a prison cell in here. Exactly. Hey. It'll work for you. It'll work for our gym. You what? This is what it took to get you off the drugs, isn't it? Uh, um, hang on. Well, you're going to lock him in here? You're going to let him cold turkey on his own? Yes, because it's the only way. He wouldn't <laughs> stay in Aussie, would he? So this is the way we're going to do it. Get him off that muck once and for all. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Jimmy. Social workers, spouting crap, clinics, 
councillors talking, listening, bending over backwards. Well, none of it works, does it? For God's sake, Jimmy, he overdosed, didn't he? He nearly killed himself. This way, he's got a chance. We've all got a chance. And uh, do you know what it's like, cold turkey? Well, apart from it being the stuff I put on my sarnies on Boxing Day, no, I don't know what it's like. Sweats, shakes, running nose, dry throat, vomiting, diarrhoea. Two or three days of complete misery, suffering. Are you ready for that? Two or three days for a lifetime, free of that muck? Well, it sounds like a small price to pay. Oh, is this right? And are you ready to see your own son groveling in puke, eh? Hearing him scream as he crawls the walls, crying like a baby, begging for a fix? Look, I'm not an expert. I don't know about drugs and medicine and that sort of thing, but common sense, yes. Now he's full of poison, isn't he? He's got heroin running through his veins. Well, if we can clear this out of him and, and get him cleaned up, he'll be all right. No, no, yes! no, it's not just about the body. It's about up here, the mind. That is where the real battle is. You've got to be right up here. You've I... got to be ready to come off the smack. I also, we've got to just wait, have we, till he's ready? Oh. And when's that going to be, eh, hey, Jimmy? The 12th and ever? No. We've got to make him make up his mind. We've got to help him before it's too late. Jimmy, Jimmy, I need you with me on this one. All right, all right. I'll finish off clearing up this place. You better get yourself off to the shops. What for? Supplies, stuff we're gonna need. You better make a list. Towels, chocolate, buckets, soup, scram. We are going to be cut off from the rest of the world for the next few days. And if we're going to do this, we're going to have to do it properly. And I only hope you know what you're letting us in for, Jackie. Hiya. All right. Uh, just these, please. Oh, they're 35p. I suppose you can't get them on the inside, can you, Mince? You what? Well, they are for your Terry, aren't they? Terry? You don't know, do you? No what? Oh, God. I put my size tens in it. Look, I think you better sit down. Hey, eh, uh, what are you babbling on about? Well, it's the police. They took your Terry away this morning. Yeah, I know. You know? I was in the flat when they came for him. So it's true, then? What is? Well, that they've arrested him. For Barry Grant's murder. you think it's funny? Funny? It's hilarious, girl. <laughs> the only thing my Terry's ever made is a chicken vindaloo after a night on the ale. So he hasn't done it then? No. But they have taken him away. Well, he is the owner of the shops and the club. Uh, they were just keeping him uh, abreast of developments. Cares as he like. Right. Julia Brogan. I'll kill her telling tales. Julia, eh? Well, I think her and me should have a little chat. The old windbag. Dad, have you seen that book I was reading? What? Sorry, son. You book me Brian Keenan book, have you seen it? No, I haven't. Not just now, son. Dad? Jackie! Jackie! Oh, God. I didn't know whether to come over or not, see if the lab was all right. Oh, yeah, still alive and kicking, thanks to you. Give me one hell of a fright, I can tell you. Yeah, me and all. Thanks to your help, anyway. Ah, no sweat. Um, I'd better get off front, cos I've got shopping to do yeah, yet. Yeah, I'll walk round with you. No, no, it's all right. It's Jackie, I am going off my head and uh, stuck there with Bev, thinking about me and you. But not now, Ron. Look, it's not the right time. Well, when will be the right time? I don't know, Ron. I mean, maybe the moment's past, eh? You what? Look, I'm sorry, Ron. Jackie, but I thought me and you, we... Yeah, well, well, so did I, but I've made my decision. Now I've got my son to think Jackie. of. Jackie! Bog roll. We need extra bog roll. Yeah, right. Well, hurry up. All right, I'm on my way. I've got to go, Ron. Jackie. Everything all right, Dad? Oh, yet some, yeah. Everything's just flaming great. Julia, that really is quite extraordinary. It just doesn't add up. Very interesting, I'm sure. But I do have work to do here. My new spring menus. I saw it with my own eyes. Handcuffed and thrown into the back of a black pariah. <laughs> Mariah. 
Who is she? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's so unexpected. Yeah, it can be believed. Eh? I hope you're not suggesting that I'm spreading gossip. Yeah, well, it has been known. I beg your pardon? I'm merely suggesting that you might have got the wrong end of the stick. Manicured like a common criminal he was. <laughs> ah, saved by the bell. Oh, I tell you, it gave me quite a turn. A nice sweet cup of tea, that's what I need. No chance of you doing some work today, is there? Oh, hello there. Is she here? Who? The Liverpool lip. Who do you think? I'm sorry? Julia Brogan. Oh, yes, she is, but she is trying to do some work. But please, do come in. I mean, don't mind yes, me. Yes, me. He's never been the same since that breakdown of his. Remember that carry-on? Oh, poor Terry. He was definitely a spam butty short for picnic. Hello, Julia. Oh, <laughs> Jack. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely to see you, isn't it, Terry? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, what was that about our Terry? Oh, Lord. Who is it now? Uh, yeah? I'm oh, sorry, but um, can we have a word? What? Now? Yeah, it'll just take a minute. And we won't bother you again, I promise. One minute and out here. Thanks. Well, come on. It's about this thing with the police. You know, I am fed up with this. First I get your father over here, now you two. I can't believe how I got myself wrapped up in this sordid affair. Look, we're really sorry to, to ask you this, but... Look, if you were just to say you didn't see anything... You want me to lie for you? No. Look... Well, it's just, if you didn't say you'd seen anything, then they couldn't go through with it. They couldn't carry on. So that'd get you off the hook, scot-free, yeah? No, look, you don't understand. If this goes any further, we're gonna go to court, maybe prison. I'm very well aware of that, but I'm sorry. You're just gonna talk to them? You're gonna tell them? The truth. I have no choice in the matter. Lying to your parents is one thing, but to the police and the courts? I'm not willing to perjure myself for you two. You are very well aware of my feelings in this. I didn't want to get involved in this in the first place. Excuse me. Great. It's worth a try, I suppose. So what now? What are we going to do? I'm sorry about that, love. I mean, I didn't mean any harm, but I just presumed you knew about your Terry. Seeing as I won't get a moment's peace here, I'll uh, leave you to it, eh? Oh, right. Thank you, Max. I had no idea. No, must have come as a bit of a shock. A breakdown, you say? Yes, I'm afraid the poor chap rather lost his way for a while. Poor love. Three sheets to the wind he was. Thank you, Julia. Cup of tea, anyone? But he's never cracked on. It can't be easy for him to talk about it. His self-esteem must have taken a bit of a battering. Yeah, not half. Oh, I thought I'd he was made of stronger stuff than that. Oh, there's nothing to be ashamed of, Jack. You'd be surprised at the number of people that suffer breakdowns. It's the age we live in, I'm afraid. The pace of modern life. Well, I suppose you've got to look on the bright side. At least tell you wasn't arrested, eh? Oh, I'm sorry, love. But the gossips round here, though, they put two and two together and they come up with 500. Oh, I always knew that was a load of nonsense. I'll bet you anything you'd like, that body's been down there for years. You're not still playing Hercule Poirot, are you? Well, if the police can't get to the bottom of this, then I'm determined I will. Let sleeping dogs lie. Let the poor soul rest in peace, whoever he is. Or was. Jack, I'm sure whoever's soul it was will rest much more peacefully when we've got this mystery cleared up once and for all. Amen. Been busy then? Yeah, I've got everything on the list. How is he? Oh, fast asleep, exhausted. That's the smack wearing off. What? Well, I thought. I mean, if he's withdrawing, what's happened to all these symptoms we're going on about? Don't worry, just give it time. It'll soon kick in. Well, how long will it take? Well, no, be asleep for a while yet. That'll be the last decent sleep he gets for a fortnight. Then, when he wakes up, you'll know he's withdrawing. Are you sure about this, Jackie? Sure this is what you want? All I want is my son back. I want him off head of a... Still my baby, you know. Our baby. 
and we're not going to lose him to a ten quid rapper smash. We owe it to him, Jimmy. Go on, Lucas. Dixon's book is hilarious. I don't know why somebody wrote this, but he can't be serious. You're just going to sit here and read. Sorry? Aren't you the least bit worried about what's going to happen? Matt, take it easy. Right, yeah, take it easy. I'm looking at a prison sentence and what, I'm supposed to chill out? Matt, nobody's going to prison. You heard what Max Farnham said. He's going to give evidence against us. That'll finish us. What about Mum and Dad? What's it going to do to them? Look, what Max Farnham says and what he does are two entirely different things. He won't want his name dragged through the courts or the press any more than we do. Relax. Oh, you're typical, you know. You're the same old George, so laid back. Uh, look, I have thought about this, Nat. But there's no point getting worked up over something that might never happen. Anyway, what can we do about it now, short of hiring a mafia hitman to shut him up? Yeah, well, there is something we can do about it. We admit it. We go to the police, tell them the truth. What? Look, we tell them it was a mistake and it's over. They might go easy on us. Yeah, and they might throw away the key. Don't be so naive, Nat. We admit nothing and deny everything. When it comes down to it, it's just Max Farnham's word against ours. And if I have to stand up in court and take him on, then I will. And I'll wipe the floor with him. One bucket for when he's sick, the other for you know what. Toilet rolls, no explanation needed there. Tissues, man sized soft ones for the snipples. Get a rash under your nose if you use bog roll. Right, towels, big ones, and plenty of them. Get them on top of the bed, right? Save you changing the sheets. What? The sweats. He's going to be ringing wet once he starts, love. My fanny's up, I'm upstairs. I thought you just said he was going to be sweating cobs. One minute cold, the next hot. That's what it's like. Right, he's got his portable tally, radio, anything to keep him occupied. And if he's up to it, we play cards, scrabble, whatever, because he's going to be thinking smack, 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 and we've got to get his mind off it. Right, food, chocolates, donuts, strawberry banana milkshakes, easy to eat and full of sugar. He's going to get a craving for sweet things once he starts. And last but not least, bottle of scotch. Whiskey, that's not going to do much good, is it? It's not for him. It's for us. We're going to need it. Mm. Right, what now? We sit and wait. And don't worry. He'll let us know when the party's started. Here's mate. Thanks a lot. Keep the change. Oh, all right, Dad. All right, son. How'd you get on down the cop shop? Waste of time. I don't know what you want to speak to me for. Well, you do own the place. Yeah, and I know, but he reckon that body's been down there for around 30 years, well before my time. 30 years? Uh, how did he know that? I don't know. They must have done some tests on it or something. So why drag me in, eh? I was probably about three when it happened. Oh, all right, nice to see you doing something. Well, what happened? When that fellow was killed? Killed? Oh, yeah, it's amazing what they can do these days, you know. They reckon that fellow was probably the victim of foul play in all probability. Really? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. No, not really. Um... Look, son, I think it's about time you and me had a little chat. What about? Not here, Teddy. Let's go up to the flat, eh? Seems like he's had it for ages. Haven't said that, that might be a good sign, mightn't it? You what? Me book. Oh, yeah. Great news, eh? What is? Uh, about your book. Oh, what about it? You haven't listened to a word I've said, have you? Sorry, son. What's wrong with you? Nothing, nothing. 
You've been on pins all day. You've been up and down at the window. You've been biting everybody's head off. Michael, there's nothing wrong. Just leave it, will you? There you go again. Hi, honey. I'm home. Hi, Mike. Hi, Ellie, aren't you? Oh, half an hour. Who's counting? Aren't you pleased to see me? Yeah. Yeah, of course I am, yeah. Great. Because I am going to cook me and you a fantastic dinner. And we're going to spend the evening together. Sit down. I'm a good old chinwag. What about? Well, the future. Plans. What about them? Look, I've been thinking about all this round we've been doing the past week, and I hate it when we fall out. Should we just put the past behind us, eh? I want to make up. Um, I think I'll make myself scarce, eh? No, no, no need for that. You hang on, son. Ron? Um, no, I'll just get off. No, it's your house as well, isn't it? You stay where you are. What is this? Anyone would think you wouldn't want to be left alone with me? Oh, come on now. No, you come on. It's like everything I suggest. You don't want to know. And I'm trying so hard, Ron. I can't put a foot right. Here we go again. Here we go again, what? Well, Beverly can't get away, so what's the next thing? Turn the waterworks on? Oh. Anything to draw attention to yourself, isn't it, eh? It's like living with a flaming ten-year-old sometimes. Well, thank you very much. I only wanted to spend the evening with you, you grumpy old... Here, yeah. Cook your own dinner. And I hope your souffle won't rise. Yeah, I had a few problems. A breakdown? A breakdown, whatever you want to call it. And you never told me. Well, you weren't here to tell, were you? Yeah, but I'm back now. Oh. Yeah, you breeze back into my life after God knows how long, and I'm supposed to give you chapter and verse. Well, I'm your father. Oh, yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Some dad. I mean, I've seen you for all of ten minutes in, what, the last six years? I mean, even when I was a kid, eh? After my mum died and all that, where were you when I needed you? Where were you after Sue and Danny died? Nowhere. Look, lad, I have my own problems as well. Problems? Do you want to hear about problems? What about me, eh? Spending half my life living in the shadow of a head case like Barry Grant, and then getting brainwashed by some mank who thinks he's the son of God, then stumbling from one disaster to another. That's me, my life, your son, Terry. I had no idea. No. Because you couldn't be bothered to find out, could you? You had your own problems, didn't you? Oh, look, let, let's face it, Dad. You don't know me. I mean, you don't even know who I am. And I don't know who you are, either. I mean, I don't understand why you're back here. So come on, Dad, tell me. Why have you come back here now? Jimmy, sit down. Hey? Sit down, you're making me nervous. Oh, uh, sorry, I was... Just thinking about them heavies who are after our little Jimmy. What about them? The real head, the balls. And he still owes them that money. Well, they don't know where he lives, do they? Oh, no, thank God. But they're getting closer, Jackie. I've been snipping round the parade the other day. I'm telling you, love, they're going to find the house, you know. I am going to have to find the rest of that money and keep them happy, pay them off. No, Jimmy. No more going on the rob, do you understand? Love, these fellas are real hard cases. Nothing will stop them. Well, they're just going to have to wait, aren't they, while we get him sorted? Mum? <sighs> Dad? I'm going to be sick. God. It started, Jack. Right. Action stations. So much for best special dinner, eh? Yeah, well, maybe I'd prefer it this way. Look, Dad, do you want to talk about this? Talk about what? Well, the way you've been flying off the handle with everyone and giving Bev such a hard time. Oh, that. Look, Dad, tell me to mind my own business. But me and Lindsay have been talking. Oh, yeah? And I saw you on the coast with Jackie Corker this morning. To get me drift. Dad, I'm not stupid, and you don't have to be Einstein to realise that there's something going on. Michael, nothing's going on. Dad! Hang on, son, that's the truth. But that doesn't mean to say I don't wish something was going on. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's the way I feel. You don't need to say sorry to me. What about you and Bev? What about me and Bev? Things that bad? <sighs> Look, son, these past few weeks, being there, I've realised maybe it's not what I want out of life. It's going nowhere. It, all this time, me and Bev, the younger woman, I've, I've just been kidding myself. I see. And it's not really just about not wanting to be with Bev. 
It's about wanting to be with somebody else. Yeah, Jackie Corco. I know, stupid old fool, eh? But I can't help it, son. I just can't stop thinking about her. She's the one I want to be with. Come on. <coughs> Jimmy, we can't be in there like that. Gotta get used to it, Jackie. Because that is nothing to what he's going to go through later on. Now, come on. We've got to get some rest. Got a long, hard night ahead of us. The Brookside story continues each night this week. Over on ITV, Shaman. Next here, the Film on 4 premiere of The Madness of King George. Everton. Please, Mum, just half a wrap. That's all. Oh, you're asking me for help. Mum, please. No, love. You've got to. No, Jimmy. Just to help me get through it. No, no. I'll be the last time I score. I promise. Just this once. Then I'll be all right. I'll be cool. Everton will be all right. I promise. No, Jimmy. No more drugs. Ever. No. Look at me. Look at me. I'm done in. I'm cracking up. Just a little bit, that's all I want, just half a wrap. No, fuck. Oh, Mum, please, please. I'm begging you, please. Room service. Mum, please. He's asking me for drugs. Oh, there's a surprise. What did you think it'd be after small teeth? Get real, will you, Jackie? The way that lad is feeling right now, he'd sell either one of us down the river for a ten quid rap. It's one of the towel. Poor oh, lad's freezing to death. And get that easter on, will you? Come on, Will. Did your last slave die off? Hey, that's better, didn't I say? Nice and warm now, aren't you? Look, that's it. Oh, thanks. Thanks, lad. Come here. Look at these goosebumps. Have you seen his skin? Look at this. Yeah. Reminds you of anything, does it? Hmm? Christmas morning. The turkey before they put it in the oven. Cold turkey. 
That's where the name comes from, Jackie. <laughs> Come on, love, keep warm. That's better, isn't it, eh? There you are. Nice and warm, eh? And you know what? Some breakfast in the base. Hiya. Yeah. Hiya. You're barely. Yeah, I didn't sleep too good. Me neither. Look, I'm sorry, Ron. I feel terrible now. It's no fun when we're arguing all the time, is it? No, too much like hard work. You can't carry on like this. What do you reckon? It's doing neither of us any good, is it? No. No, not really. Only one thing for you. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. We've been through too much together, haven't we? To throw it all away like that. Let's kiss and make up, eh? Oh! <laughs> Get some sleep now, eh, love? Just be out here if you need me. I'm exhausted. Just like looking after a baby again. Yeah, well, I told you it was going to be hard work, didn't I? Yeah. Well, you should be sitting in there with him like I am. I mean, I've been trying to give him my support, Jimmy, helping him through all this. Jackie. It's best left on his own. That way, he can't get his claws into us. What do you mean? Oh, you've seen what he's like. Begging for smack on his hands and knees. Trying to wear you down, work on you. Well, so we're supposed to just shut him away? Oh. Let him suffer on his own? Look, that is the score. That's how it works. Look, Jimmy, I know you're the big expert. I know you've seen it, done it, got the T-shirts. But I have been up all night with our son, you know, watching him cry. Throw up, wishing he was dead. And you know something? If I hadn't have been there with him, I think he might just be dead. Because that's how far gone he is. He is that far away from giving in. He needs us, Jimmy, both of us. All right, all right, I'll sit with him. Thanks. I, mean, I need your help, you know, Jimmy. I can't do this on my own. Listen, um, don't take this the wrong way, but there's something been bugging me. Bugging you? Well, not bugging me. Maybe that's the wrong word. Um, well, it's you. You know, doing all this like. What do you mean? Well, you walked out on us last week. You didn't want to know. And now here you are again, doing all sorts. my son, isn't he? He needs me. Well, he needed you last week as well. Why the big turnaround? Guilt. You what? A big turnaround. Because I felt guilty. About what? Not being here last week. Being somewhere else. Somewhere I shouldn't have been. How do you mean somewhere you shouldn't have been? Oh, what are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Hey? I'm tired, aren't I? I'm not making any sense. Uh, not much. Why don't you go upstairs? Get your head down for half an hour, eh? No, I'm okay on the couch. Go on, you look knackered. I'll give you the shout if I need anything. You sure you're right? Looking after him? I'm the expert, remember? I mean, we all have our ups and downs, don't we? Yeah. Only natural, I suppose. That's the thing I like about Ron. Well, one of the things, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously, he's... Well, he's mature, isn't he? Got an old head. Not gonna make any rash decisions. Lifetime guarantee. Bit boring, like, but you can't have everything, can you? <laughs> Speak of the devil. I was just singing your praises. 
saying how reliable you are. Oh, really? Mm, like one of those cars, aren't you? That like you see old women drive around. Doesn't go too fast, nothing too racy, but uh, doesn't let you down. You mean clapped out? Oh, sense of humour as well. Look, Ale, get this lot upstairs, get out your way. Oh, aren't you staying for a cup of tea? No, it's my mum's birthday today. I'm just going to go and wrap a present. Oh, is it? All right, well, uh, give her my regards, eh? Oh, oh, the demons coming after me in here. I can't get rid of them, Dad. They're calling me, they're bubbling under my skin. Look, I just can't shake them off. Just take it easy, son, will you? Oh, but my head is not right. It needs salt and I need to score. Yeah, look, you've got to stick with it, Jimmy. Oh, no, my head, though, it's all wrong. You see, my mum, right? She doesn't understand, right? She never will. But you. You know. Yeah, I know, Jimmy. But all that is in the past, and it will be with you soon, son. I know, but remember that feeling, right? That sinking into a warm bath, yeah? Your body, water just holding it up, your body, yeah? Oh, see, you, you remember you feel safe and warm. You feel as though you're wrapped up in cotton wool, don't you? You know, you remember. <laughs> oh. Get it together. Your eyes. I know. Pathetic. Oh, oh God. God, I'm sorry. I've been so proud of you the last few weeks. All the effort you put in. Jack, don't, please. I'm desperate. I need some smack. Look at me, will you? Look at me. I'm falling apart here. Yeah? Look at me. I'm not going to take a bath. I'm not going to help you kill yourself. Now help me. Help me, Jackie, will you? Oh, God knows what I'll do to get me gear. I'll look some old granny if I have to. Say I need some gear. We see, me and you, Dad, right? We're different, right? We've been there before. My mum, all the rest of them, they'll never know, right? But me and you. That's it. That's it. Listen, we can score together, can't we? Yeah, what? No problem, right? I've still got mates. They still owe me, right? Me and you, they'll sort us. No problem, right? The best gear in town, man. Right? We'll go down there, flop down there, right? Stay there as long as we like, right? Get ourselves sorted. Listen, Jimmy, will ya? I'm sorted already. I've left all that crap behind. No. No, no. You never leave it behind, Dad. Never. The demons, right? They're still in there, aren't they? First thing in the morning, last thing at night. They're still there, aren't they? Tempting ya? Yeah, tempting me. I know I was a user, wasn't I? But I've learned to say no. I don't listen anymore, Jimmy, and neither should you. Oh, big man, eh? Big, tough man. Oh, wish I could be like you, Dad, eh? Dead hard, just say no, eh? Oh, but I can't, can I? I can never be like you. It's too much to live up to, isn't it? Me? I'm nothing, me. Oh, and I'm something, can I? Oh, I can't live with it, can I, Dad? I can never be as good as you. Oh, Jimmy, you're not making sense. You've just got to stick it out. Why are you do this to me? Why? I'm just trying to help you, son. Well, help me then. Please help me, right? To stop this banging in my head. Stop this pain in my arms. Oh. Help me. I think I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> Come on, make up for let me down in the past, right? Just one last time, just one, right? That mean you were even, right? I'll forgive you for everything, please. Hi, Ron. Lindsay, you going round to your mum's? Yeah, I'm going to give her a pressy. Would you mind giving her this? What is it? It's a birthday card. What do you think it is? I don't know, Ron. Lindsay, love, look. Let me show you. Happy birthday, Jackie, thinking of you, Ron. No secret messages, no meet me behind the bike sheds at 9.30. It's not even any kisses, love. I just wanted to know that we're still mates, that's all. OK. Thanks, love. I appreciate it. with me, Jimmy. I'm not in the mood. Show me your other hand. Method. Stop it. 
I had to do something for him. I can't leave you on your own for two minutes, can I? What are you thinking of, eh? I couldn't stand it. You saw the state of him down there. God, raise his father's son when I says me. You've got no backbone, have you, Jimmy? You're spineless. You made me go in there. I knew he'd get his claws in, didn't I? You didn't put the padlock on, did you? Oh, help me, please, mate. You gotta help him. Jimmy! They've got me locked up, pal. Who has? Mum and Dad. Jimmy! Jimmy, love, what are you doing out here, eh? Take me back, Come on, love. Don't let them Come on, back. son, you'll no. catch your death out no. here. What's wrong? Oh, is everything all right? Terrible. It's all right, bring it, sorted. Nothing going around, Lindsay, you know. Lindsay, give us your coat. Lindsay, please, you can't help me. Do you want me to call a yeah, doctor? Get it it's OK, Bing, don't worry about it. Oh, you'll help me here, we get a... Thanks, love. Mum, what's wrong with them? You're right. Are you sure you don't want me to get a doctor? See the commotion on the close? I was on the loo. Flaming cool kills. You want locking up a lot of them. Why? What happened? Well, it was that scally son of theirs, wasn't it? Out on the close, in his underpants, going off his head. Mind you, parents like him and her, scum of the earth. Yeah, well, I'm going downstairs. Oh, no worry. Sit down. I want to finish reading my paper. Nah, you can do that in a bit. Have you seen these? I've just found them. What are they? Well, it's me and you and Butlins with the... Uh, Julia and Bing. Happy memories, eh? You're looking more like some kind of animal. It's only for a few days. Surely there's got to be another way, Mum. We've tried everything else, haven't we? It's kill or cure. Oh. If it goes back on the smack, it'll kill him. I know it will. Don't say that. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but you understand that. It's his last chance. Where's your dad gone? Kind of, I think he was going to shops or something. Difficult. When it hits the fan, he's nowhere to be seen. Are you all right, Mum? Oh, yeah, and Grace, million dollars, me. Sorry, love. You get off, come on. You don't want to be caught in all this. I'm not leaving you like this. Please, I want you to go. Lindsay, will you go? Hey, Mum. Are you joking? Happy birthday. Oh, God. I've got all about it. My own birthday. <laughs> what a way to celebrate it. This is just after we started seeing each other. At Rill. God. Who hit you with that shirt, eh? You look like Magnum. You bought it me, I seem to remember. Yeah? Yeah. Must have had something in my eye the day I bought that. Had some great times, though, haven't we? More ups and downs. Happy memories. Yeah. Memories, eh? Thanks, Ron. What for? Know. Making me happy, putting up with me. And after everything they said, eh, it wouldn't last. We've showed them. Eh, got all sad on me, you big softy. Sorry, just been a bit daft. <laughs> no, I think it's lovely. Dead romantic. My wrong, big softy. You would tell me if anything was going on, wouldn't you, Mum? Yes, love. Me and Ron are just good friends. What about Sackle last week? Oh, hello. Hi, Dad. Where have you been? Out. Out where? Oh, so I'd living with the Gestapo. You must know, I've been round the shops asking a few questions. What? Checking that those fellas who are after our little Jimmy haven't been snooping round again. And? No sign of them. So fingers crossed, eh? How is he? Oh, he's all right. I think he might be sleeping. Look, Mama, I'll get going now. All right, love, and then we'll carry on. 
Sorry, I'll not talk another time, OK? Why don't you walk out with me? Get out for a few minutes? Yes. No, um, I'd better stay here. Why don't you go? Could do with some pressure. What? And leave you here on your own. No, just five minutes, please. Look, I'm just walking Lindsay over the road. I'll be five minutes, all right. See you, Lindsay. See you later, Dad. I'll only be outside, it's no funny business. Do you hear me? See, all we did was talk. That was talk. What about? Oh, I don't know. Everything. Me. My life. Why is all went wrong? Well, shouldn't you be talking to me, Dad, about these things? Talk. We need to have don't talk. We spar. We score points off each other. It's like a running battle. Was that? Well, there must be something between you after twenty odd years Hello together. Oh, he's all we need. How's the lad? Oh, he's fine. You know, just a funny turn. All right, you're putting him to bed, I hope. Yeah. Well, if it's the flu, you know the best thing is still a hot drink and aspirin. That should sweat it out of him, all right? Yeah. Oh, better get back. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's better get indoors. It looks like we're in for a downpour. Mm. Right. See you later. See you, Lord. Yeah. Right, I'll have to go. Yeah, I guess so. What if we stay out here? <laughs> I knew you'd never let me down, Dad. Yeah, well, it all came back to me, didn't it? The pains and the cramps. The nightmares. Yeah, well, everything's gonna be all right now, isn't it? What are you gonna do about me, Dad? I don't know, love. I haven't got a clue. I can't think straight. But you can't leave him. He'd be lost without you. I know. I know. Look, I've got your brother to sort out, so haven't I? He's my priority at the moment, Linz. I've got to go, love. you sorry. OK, see ya. Look, Jimmy, this is a one-off, right? It's just... To get you through the night. Yeah. Got a good sleep, yeah? Yeah. Get me head sorted, yeah. But it's just between ourselves, right? Our secrets. Because I'm telling you, if your mother ever finds out, too late. She already has. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Raising cats and dogs out there. But we're in here, aren't we? All cosy. Snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah, I'll put the kettle on. Make us a nice hot drink. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm coming. Jackie, love you so. I found her wandering in the rain. Jackie, what's wrong? I'm not going back over. I can't. God knows what they've been getting up to in that house. Oh, better get you inside. Get those wet clothes off her ASAP. She could catch pneumonia. Yeah, thanks, Bing. Chucky, what's going on, love? What are you doing? Come on, come on. Let's get you sat down. What are you doing there? Shh. Don't shush me. Oh, look at the mess she's made all over me carpet. I better go. Hey. You'll go nowhere. You can stay here tonight. You can sleep on the couch. Over my dead body. Dead. She is not sleeping under this roof. Shut it, will you? What? Look, just for once in your life, will you keep that big gob of yours shut? Ron! I'm speechless. Yeah, well, there's a first, isn't it? And if you don't like Jackie being here, you know where the front door is. Right, Ron Dixon. I am not standing here being spoken to like some ten-year-old. Don't forget your brolly. Leave it. He gave his own son heroin. I just couldn't take it anymore. I don't blame you, Jackie. 
No one in their right mind could put up with that. She looks as stupid as they get. I still feel I am to blame. Yeah, why? I should never have gone away to that hotel with you the other day. Jackie, love, what's that got to do with anything? And now I've walked out on them again. I've let them down again, haven't I, and they knew. You've let no one down. Nobody could have done more than you have. But there's still me son and me husband, aren't they, me family? You're not thinking of going back to them, are you? I don't know. Jackie, you can't. Where else can I go? Who else have I got? You've got me, haven't you? Just say the word, I'll pack me bags and we'll be away tomorrow. Me and you will just disappear. It's your way out. Let's do it, Jack, me and you. Let's leave all this behind us. The Week on Brookside continues tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock. If you need help because of drugs, you can call the National Drugs Helpline on 0800 776600. Lines are open 24 hours a day and all calls are free and confidential. Your call will not appear on an itemised phone bill unless you call from some mobile or cable phones. Oh, God. Oh. Bingo. Oh, have you won? What? The bingo in the paper. How much have you won? No, 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 Julie. It's nothing to do with the bingo. It's an article here about our mystery body. Well, what's that got to do with the bingo? Well, if you care to read it. Oh, I'd love to, Dave, but I haven't got my specs. Ah, well, uh, I'll give you a brief resume, then. It says here that the body is that of a young male, probably in his early 20s. Oh, it's a crying shame. A young fella like that could often his prime. Indeed. And it's been underground for something like 30 years. Oh, God bless us and save us. Which would make him about 50 or 60 if he was still alive today. Ah, oh, the poor soul. I wonder who it is. Oh, it was. Intriguing, isn't it? Does it say how he died? Ah, well, that's where it gets interesting. There is a suspicion of foul play. He was murdered? So it would seem. And the rotten swine probably still walk in the streets, free as a bird. Precisely. There you go. Oh, Tom. don't worry about Bev, you know. The bark's worse than the boys. <laughs> Listen, Mum, thanks for the loan of your couch, but me staying here, it's more trouble than it's worth. Jackie. Me and Bev under the same roof. Like a ticking time. Blow up any minute. What's that? It's Jimmy. 
Why isn't anyone answering the door? Look at you, Dad. I can't speak to him. You'll have to. I can't face him at the moment. Hi, Dad. Have you seen him? Yeah. Oh, Jimmy. I woke up this morning, love. He was gone. Gone? Gone where? Oh, if I knew that, Lindsay, I wouldn't be looking for him, would I? Look, I've got to find him. These fellas he owes money to, they're looking for him. I were asking questions about him the other day on the parade. The bad news, love. They get their hands on him. Oh, God. Listen, if you find him, will you just grab him and come and get me, yeah? Yeah, of course. I don't know. Between this and your mother. She walked out on me, you know. I know. I've got to find her, love. I just want to make it up to her, you know. You know where she is, do you? Yeah. Well, where? She had air valves? No. She stayed here the night. Yeah. Well, well, where is she now? Inside. I've got to see her. Yeah. Well, she doesn't want to see you. Hey, you! Never mind, hey, you. Now, this is private property, so I suggest you leave now before I call the police. Change. Thank Thanks you. very much. Bye bye. bye bye. Any chance of a hand back here? Oh, you made me jump. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Fine. What are all these pills for? Um, just a bit of a headache. Mm, yeah, I'll give you a hand. No, don't. I'm fine. Right, no need to bite me head off. I'm only trying to help. I'm sorry, really. It's just, I'm a bit on edge. Feeling down, are you? <sighs> just a little. Mm. Time of year, isn't it? Christmas coming up. Kids mm. getting on top of you. Hi. Hey, you two. What have you been doing to your poor mother? Sorry? It's all right, Bev, really. I'm fine. All right, nothing. Up to all sorts. Just the age, aren't they? Out every night, I bet. I bet you don't give a second thought for your poor mother. No wonder she's nervous, wreck. You know, you shouldn't have to put up with this lip, though. Not to all to get a clip round the ear hole, you know. What was all that about? What have you been saying, Mum? She, um, found me taking these. Tranquilizers. Mum, you shouldn't be taking those in here. Yes. All right. Listen, um, you haven't seen our little Jimmy around anywhere, have you? No. In your back, anything like that? No. No. No, I'm sorry. Beth, uh, uh, not seen anything about Jimmy, have you? Well, oh, that had the ball. Look, have you seen him or what? Not since his breakdancing routine on the clothes yesterday, no. Yeah, very funny. Look, if you see him, will you let me know? It's urgent. You haven't seen our Jimmy anywhere, have you? No. Scum. Ah, just the man. I want a word with you. Me? Look at him. My butter wouldn't melt. What have you and your kids been doing to Paul Bell? He wants me to go away with him, you know. You are? Me and Ron. Pack our bags and go. And leave Liverpool. I'll never come back. You can't. Lynn's love. I, I can't do anything else for your dad now, you know. If you leave me, Dad, it'd break his heart. I'll never stay with him, it'll break mine. And what about our Jimmy? Are you just going to leave him too? Listen, love, I, I don't know about me and Ron, you know, I mean... If I did go away with him, I'm not sure I'd be doing it for the right reasons. But there is one thing I am sure about. Me and your dad. There's no future in it. Mm. I've heard you say that before, and you've always got back together yeah, again. Yeah, but not this time, Lindsay. Any last bit of respect I had for him. Any love or affection. Just disappeared yesterday when I saw that needle in his hand. Poised in his own son. You haven't seen our little Jimmy around anywhere, have you? Your son showed his face in public after the carry-on yesterday. You what? David Crosby told me all about it. Parading round the close, half naked. He ought to be ashamed of himself. So I take it you haven't seen him then? No, I haven't. I don't mix in those sort of circles. Well, thanks very much, Julia. The old bag. 
Oh, hi, Julia. Oh, hi, love. How are you keeping? Oh, fine, thanks. Uh, just pottering around, you know. Hey, have you got any time on your hands? I know someone who could use it. Oh, uh -huh. Who's that? David Crosby. Talk about the dark of the bone. You are? Well, it's this mystery body they found, isn't it? He reckons he's a regular Dr. Cluedo. He reckons that he's going to solve the mystery. Has he uh, managed to find anything out? No, not yet, but I'm sure it won't take him long. He's a very clever man, is David Crosby. Got letters after his name, you know. Mind as sharp as a tack. I wouldn't put anything past him. Yeah, right. Are you all right, love? You're looking a bit peaky. Oh, it's me stomach. It must have been something I ate. Hey, it's that son of yours. He's not feeding you properly. I'll have to have a word with him. What you need is some of my own cooking. I do a lovely pan of scouse, you know. Excuse me, Julia. I've got to go and see a man about a dog. Two teaspoons full for milk and magnesia. Does wonders for my dyslexia. What about this one? What? Nat, you're supposed to be helping me choose a tree for the flat. George, give me a break, will you? What? You went about a stupid tree while Mum's gone out of her mind. God, something. Nat. Jimmy? Back then. Hey, Dave. Got a sec? Oh, on my way out, actually. Oh, right. Uh, well, just thought I'd pop by, like. See what you were up to. I'm sure my ears in it, old son, I'm afraid. On my way to the library. Library? Yes, I've got a list of books I need to look up. Criminology, psychology and local history. What's all that in aid of? Well, I've set myself a small challenge. I want to see if I can make any further headway with my investigation into the mystery of the body under the nightclub. You're deadly serious about this, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. Doing things by halves has never been my modus operandi, I'm afraid. Not as much. You see, a case like this needs genuine application and a hell of a lot of legwork. I've arranged to go up to the offices of the local paper tomorrow, start going through back issues from 30 years ago. What are you doing that for? Well, I'm looking specifically for missing persons. See if I can't find some candidates for identification. But this fella, I mean, uh, it could be anyone. Oh, I reckon you're wasting your time. Time, my dear chap, like your good self, is something that I have plenty of. And, uh, by the way, uh, I am looking for an assistant. You are? Yes. The Watson to my homes, the uh, Bodie to my toil, the Starsky to my hutch, if you like. We could be headline news, you know. Oh, forget it, mate. I don't want my name plastered all over the papers. No, you're on your own for this one. Oh, well. Suit yourself. You can't go, Jack. I need you here. Look, look, about yesterday, I can explain. I had to do it. It was cracking me up seeing him like that. Look, I've been there. I know what it's like, the pain, the terror. I know what he was feeling. I couldn't just sit there and let him suffer. But love, I was trying to help him. That's why I gave him the needle. Look, it was to help him get through the cold turkey. Believe me, love, I did it for the best. Jackie, don't do this. Look, love, please, listen, come on. We'll go out there, we'll find little Jimmy, right? We'll get him off the drugs. This time, love, we can do it, you and me. Look, Jackie, I need you. Oh, Jimmy, he needs you, love. Please don't go. I'm begging you, Jackie, please. Come on. Look. I'll make it up to you. Let me down once too often, Jim. Yeah, I won't be needing these. Jackie? Jack? Where will you go?
is doing to Mum? She's starting to rely on tranquilizers to keep her going. She's always been highly strung. Georgia. Well, let's face it, Nat. It's not the first time she's been on them, is it? <sighs> Look, I don't need to be reminded how much we've hurt Mum and Dad. I already feel bad enough about it. All right, then let's do something about it. Oh, such as? Take the pressure off them. Do what I suggested. We go to the place, we come clean. <sighs> Mad. All right, look, we'll get punished, but what we've done is wrong. So we take our medicine. Oh, what is wrong with you? What? All this stuff about right and wrong taking our punishment. Are we suggesting we wear horsehair shirts next? Oh, come on, George, don't be stupid. I just want an end to all this, that's all. I just want us all to live normally again. Oh, and you think me and you going to jail is going to make us all normal? <sighs> I've got news for you, Nat. We'll never be a normal family again. I know that, you know that, Mum and Dad know that. And if you go to the police to come clean, then every one of our neighbours and every one of our friends, anyone who reads a newspaper is going to know all about it as well. So you just think about that, all right? So I was he? Didn't I go around to find out? Mom? Lindsay, I've heard it all before. One promise after another. Every one of them waiting to be broken. Well, I've had enough of this. I'm finished. So what now? I don't know. But I'm not going back to your dad. You're going to go with Ron, aren't you? I don't know what I'm going to do, Linz. I really don't. Here you go, ladies. Tea up. Not for me, thanks. I'm going to go and see me dad. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. So you finally done it, eh? You left him. How do you feel? Not sure. Relieved, I suppose. It's all behind me now, isn't it? Got to move on, haven't I? We both have love. Start afresh. Oh, yeah. It's only me. Thought you'd have gone by now. All right, Bev. Well, interrupting something, am I? No, no. We're just having a cup of tea, that's all. Do you want one? All of the time. Just come for me lippy. Is that yours? Yeah, it's all right. I'm not stopping. Mm, what a shame. Never mind, eh? But I tell you what, don't bother saying goodbye on your way out. Don't worry. No boat. Listen, son. I've been thinking about what we were talking about the other day. Oh, aye. About us. Not really knowing each other, like. Look, Dad, I hope you didn't take all of that the wrong way, you know. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, you're right, aren't you? How can you really know me? Where have I been for the last 30 years? A question that I've often asked myself. Oh, rightly so. There's a lot you don't know about me. Oh, I? Anything juicy? Serious, son. When we had that chat the other day, it opened my eyes. When you told me about your breakdown and that, kind of been easy for you. But I'm glad we had that chat. Because now, we can't talk to each other like a proper father and son. What are you going on about, Tad? Skeletons in the cupboard, lad. We've all got them, you know. You what? Things from our past. Things we're ashamed of. I haven't been able to talk about. But now, we know each other better. Maybe there's a few things I can uh, get off my chest now, eh? Yeah, whatever you say, Dad. You and my mum have fallen out before, haven't you? And she always comes back. She'll be at that front door before you know it, Dad. Yeah. And we'll get this place tidied up. Jackie, what have you got to lose? Nothing. Got nothing left to lose. Your suitcase is packed. You're ready to go. It's fate. It's meant to be. Yeah, but running away together, Ron, it's mad. Why? Oh, well, where do you want me to begin? I mean, well, where would we go? Well, I don't know. Wales, Scotland, seaside, anywhere. Let's just take our chance. Where would we stay? 
Jack, let's worry about that when we get there. Eh? <laughs> and what about money and wage? Look, don't bother about all the boring practicalities. If we start thinking about them, we'll end up talking ourselves out of it. Life's too short for what-ifs. I'm telling you, when I had my heart attack, when I died, it makes you realise you only get one go at this. Yeah, I mean, you and me, you know, we haven't even... Well, you know. Slept together. <laughs> yeah. Well, apart from that nice in South Post, and that's all we did, to <sighs> sleep. And that's all that's stopping you coming away with me? No. Oh, I don't know, Ron. Well, I, I do think it's a help if we knew each other a bit better, don't you think? But don't you see, the only way that we are going to know each other better is by being together. Away from all this, away from everyone else. Away from Jimmy. I don't want this to be about him, Jack. I want it to be about us, you and me. I know what I want, how I feel. And I just hope that you feel the same way. And if you do, for God's sake, come away with me now. Let's start a new life together. Don't you see? This is our big chance. Probably our only chance. Better get your case packed, then, eh? You what? You mean it? My big chance. This time I'm not going to blow it. How's it going? Oh, you know, travel light, eh? <laughs> you can't just throw things in like that. What are you like? Thanks. I'm not getting in the habit of doing this, you know. You'll have to learn to fold your own clothes. I wasn't talking about my clothes. <laughs> what? I was thanking you for making me the happiest man in the world. <sighs> I've been a Jackie. I've got butterflies in my stomach, you know. I'm serious. I know you are. I've got them too. Enjoying that? I'm sorry. What's wrong? Oh, it's just being here and doing this. Doesn't feel right. Come on, love, relax. We'll be out of this place in ten minutes and then at the start of the rest of our lives. Oh no, but Mom? Jimmy! What the Jimmy, what are you doing? What am I doing? He's on the rub. That's what he's doing, right, sunshine? I'm following the police. Stay back there, Jimmy. All right, son, take Jimmy. it easy. Take Jimmy, shut it. Just shut it, you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare what? Look at you. You're just as bad as me, Dad. You're both as bad as each other. Jimmy. Carrying on like animals. Is it any wonder my head's done in? Jimmy. Well, you, my Dad, you're nothing. Listen, look. No, no, you listen, right? You're nothing. Me Dad would be at your father all them years ago, catch down his ankles, and now you're here with him. And you try and tell me what's right or wrong. You've got no morals. You've got no right. Son, Is there anyone that I've turned out like a robber, smackhead, thieving low life? But I'll tell you one thing, right? I'm better than you. I'm better than you and me, Dad. Jimmy! Jimmy! Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Stay away! Jimmy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear you sorry, right? I don't want to hear it, right? It's all ever here from you and him. I'm sorry. It's all ever. Hey, hey, that's enough! 
continues tomorrow evening at 8.30. And a selection of Brookside books is on sale in the shops. Next on 4, have you seen them? Three couples on the run and wanted. <laughs>